Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to be talking about the conflict between Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X. Now, while most people in America today would say that Martin Luther King Jr. had better ideas and that he was better at applying them, I would say that Malcolm X has a lot to bring to the table. Now, first you have to look at the idea of nonviolence. Now, I think you can make an argument which states Martin Luther King Jr. was a better leader because nonviolence worked in this situation. But you cannot make the argument that Martin Luther King Jr. was a better leader because he believed in the principle of nonviolence. Because most of the time, nonviolence does not work. You look at the American Revolution. If the American Revolution was a nonviolent movement, it would have been nothing. It would never have gotten into the history books because it would have accomplished nothing at all. If you're living under a brutal dictatorship, and you can say peace, joy, love, freedom, all you want, but guess what? You're never going to get freedom. The only thing the dictator is going to respond to is the primitive concept of force. And what many people do not understand is that society today is built upon this fundamental principle force. That's why we have democracy. That's why when you have 50 people, the masses, they can rise up against the one person. The only thing keeping that one person up was a load of crap pretty much. And when the people realize that, they can easily conquer them. Um, another thing to mention is that the underlying threat of violence can often do a lot of work. You can say that Martin Luther King Jr., he led a nonviolent group and this showed white America that black people could be civil and that they could function in society. And this is a good point. But also, people need to be prompted to act. And the underlying threat of violence can sort of provide this stimulus. So another thing that you have to look at is the idea that Martin Luther King Jr. was a good social leader. And I agree with this. He had social reform, which I would agree with. You look genetically at races, there's very little difference. There's no reason why we shouldn't be integrated. But you cannot create a political system on a social reform that hasn't occurred yet. And I believe that, at least in part, this is what Martin Luther King Jr. was trying to do. And I'm very attracted to the ideas of Malcolm X in this respect. He believed that whites and blacks should not be forced together. He believed that they should stay separate in separate communities. And while I think integration is a good concept, I do not believe in coerced integration. That is, I do not believe that blacks and whites should be forced to live together because I believe that this is at least partly the reason we have so many racial tensions in this country today. People did not of their own free will come together and create a community. They were forced together. And so a lot of anger and resentment is built up because of this. So you look at another thing. Malcolm X believed in segregation. And people today, segregation is a naughty word. But segregation in the 1950s was bad for a different reason than most people think today. Segregation wasn't bad because blacks and whites had separate communities. It was bad because it was blacks living under a white community. They didn't have power. They didn't have responsibility. And all these things you need to build a community, build a strong community. And the black people had obviously challenges doing this under a white culture which oppressed them. Another thing to note is that conservatives today preach about rugged individualism and the right to self-defense. This is what Malcolm X was preaching. But instead, conservatives today go with Martin Luther King Jr. Maybe it's because of his religious affiliations. Maybe it's because he was a Christian and not a Muslim. I don't know. But why wouldn't you go with a person who says you should have the right to defend your family, no matter your skin color? Constitutional rights apply to everybody. Uh, so these are my thoughts on this conflict. If you 
like this video, then share it with all your friends, comment down below what your thoughts are on this conflict, and I will see you guys next week.